Let's kneel. Most underplayed story of the day, or maybe overplayed, uh, who cares? Look, a Texas bank demolishing 16 homes under construction in Southern California, homes it acquired through foreclosure. The bank decided to knock them down when it realized it would cost more to finish the houses and pay the taxes and all that than what the bank would ever get for selling them. Additionally, the bank was facing hefty fines as vandals and squatters had taken over the project. Let's bring in our gang, Nancy Skidder, the nationally syndicated radio host, John Sfiokla, vice chairman of Diamond Management and Consulting, and fan favorite Michael Wolf, a CNBC contributor and columnist for Vanity Fair. Michael, why don't you start? Seems to me they could have just called Habitat for Humanity and seen, see if the, the group wanted to raise some money and get those homes finished. Or it seemed to me they could have just torn them down, which they did. First thing, they're, they're you know, a rotten American construction anyway, so they probably would have fallen over and uh, you know let's face it you know let's let's be heartless there are too many houses in America if we tar if we tear more down prices will go up financial crisis solved Nancy Skinner is Michael really mean or right. really smart I, um, neither wonder if the same language uh, or, or the same uh, if Geithner did the same thing to the banks and said you know what it's gonna be better for us if we just shut those banks down and pay out the FDIC uh, $250,000 deposits because it's not worth it. I mean, it's ridiculous, Dennis. The idea is we give money to the banks so we prevent the, the foreclosure freefall in prices. These banks decide it's, it's in their own personal interest, that bank's interest, yeah, yeah, to but start Nancy, tearing you're, down you're, houses. You're missing the nuts. point. Nobody's being foreclosed upon here. These are just empty houses, or these are houses that have right. been foreclosed. But Actually, the, but these, then, these, are, these are empty houses. Right, but then the prices go down on the, the block, and that's, that is the freefall in prices. Because when you have a house torn down and you live in that neighborhood, then your house price goes John's down. John Fiocla. The challenge is... At least, though, also, Michael Wolf, at the very the, least, isn't this a bad PR thing for the bank to well, do? Well, it's a terrible yeah. PR. I mean, the, the video is, is, is terrible, but I think you can explain it, because one of the things that you can say is that the thing about houses that remain fallow is that ultimately they have to be rebuilt anyway and usually torn down. All but right. these are houses new homes. These are fallow. new homes. Come on. Well, there's not are, an argument These are only new homes until they become homes. old homes. And when you have squatters in them... Do you know how the hell long they last as new homes? This is ridiculous. This is right. absolutely what they should have Luckily, done. Luckily, we have 